Hey fellas, what's going on? So today I'll just be talking about the AMD R5 2600 CPU. This thing was released three years ago, man. Um, 2018, April 2018, I believe it is. Um, can't believe it's been three years already. But um, yeah, I wanted to put it up against something new like the 5600X just to see how it performs and a couple of synthetic benchmarks and program that I use a lot, Blender. Just to see how it does in Blender and also some you know some gaming. Um, just to see if it holds this value or if it's still holding on in 2021. But yeah, um, I know there's a lot of you out there still sporting this little CPU, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look and see what it can do. Starting off with real world applications, Blender, a program that I use a lot. Uh, the 2600 managed to pull the rendering, the BMW rendering, in 310 seconds, while the 5600X managed to do the same in 217 seconds. In the 3 Mark CPU benchmark, the 2600 managed to score 6,208 points, while the 5600X managed to pull off 8,965 points. In Cinebench R20, the 2600 managed to pull 2,780 points while the 5600X managed 4596 points. Now let's look at a couple of games just to see how the little chip performs. I have tweaked out the RAM to give it a little bit of uh, you know headroom so that it can stretch its legs but this applies to both CPUs. They're both running the same settings. We'll set up a portal device at the tube. Use the light poles to mark our path. That's dumb luck right there.
Jonah, I made it. I'm in an underground temple. Good. Oh, that's not good. Laura, Trinity's blasting their way in. I can tell it's causing tremors. There's a pyramid. I'm gonna get to the top. Good. There are platforms that can help me reach the top. Looking for something to weigh them down. You're breaking up. Got some activity here. I'm gonna get closer. Copy that, Abster. As you can tell in the games, the 2600 has started to show a little bit of age. Uh, the CPU, for me personally, it's still worth it. Um, if you are into video editing, if you want to have like a little you know, workstation, nothing too um, complicated, this little CPU will do great if you want to do some light gaming. Hey, it's, it's still a good value CPU by, by any means. Am I saying that? Uh, or any way shape or form am I saying that this is a bad CPU no not at all even after three years it still you know it still has a little bit of muscle left um, of course the 5600 uh, it's a lot faster you know but at the same time it's a lot more expensive as well but uh, yeah that's all I have for now guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit thumbs up subscribe for more content coming up I'll see you guys on the next one bye bye